Hey, it's Johara. Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to do, uh, what's it called? Uh, do you have that book challenge? So, this should be fun. I'm not going to tell myself. I know some people I have, but I know that at least one person I can think of did it time herself, and I'm not going to do it. Because I don't do well under pressure. <laughs> um, part of the reason why I was only so bad at tests. <laughs> But, um, I want to throw out that I'm wearing a pride shirt. It's an asexual shirt. It says, you can't fix my asexuality just like I can't fix your stupidity. I like it. I have several of these. And I found, uh, I, I was looking on Amazon for lesbian shirts because I don't have any, which made me sad. And I found some that I really like. So, I'm going to get those soon. Maybe not this month, but I'll be getting some soon. And then next pride, and then next June, I'm going to wear nothing but my asexual and lesbian shirts. So, yay. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, moving on to the challenge. Um, there's 20 questions, and I'm just going to see if I have them. Because I was just watching one because I had to write down all the questions because I couldn't find one where the questions. I, I thought I already had the questions. I have the questions for Do You Have the Other Book Challenge. But apparently, I didn't have the questions for this one, so I had to write them all down. And so I do kind of know them, but I don't know if I have next to it. I'm something I do, but we'll see. Uh, so number one is, do you have a book with deckled edges? Crap, I forgot to look this up because I don't know what deckled edges are. <laughs> I'm going to look that up because I don't know what deckled edges are. I mean, I have plenty of books. I'm sure I have a book with deckled edges, right? Is it where like the like the uh cover isn't like I don't know how to explain it, like this <laughs> where it's like the cover doesn't go all the way as long as the pages or something? I don't know. I only have two books like that. Two of the books in that series. There's four books in that series. The two page two of them are paperbacks, two of them are hardbacks, and the two paperbacks are like that. I think both paperbacks are like that, yeah. Uh-huh. So I'm looking that up because I have no idea what the edges are. What is coming up? Okay, there you go. The definition. Deco edges are the ragged edges on paper. If they are were words cut off by the paper marker, they were usually trimmed by the binder. Some binders were so zealous about this that the book were left with almost no margins at all. So it's just like ragged edges on the paper, I guess. I don't know. Okay. And that's what I have no idea if I have one of those. I don't think so. Um this is going off with a great start. <laughs> um I don't think there's any of the books I just bought. I don't think there's any of the books I hope. I have another one that's like those other two books where it doesn't meet the end of the page. I have no idea what that's called. And until I bought the two from Rod Ruin, I had no idea that was even a thing. But that's not what I'm looking for. I don't think I have one. So I'm going to move on. Great stuff. Uh, two, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? <gasps> do I? Yes, I do. I'm so stupid. Okay. <laughs> if I 
necessarily people, but they're all three of the main characters in the second half. There's a lion, a baboon, and an um, elephant. I don't know their names yet because I haven't actually read these yet. These are from Aaron Hunter, the same author of Seekers and Warriors. Um, she, they also uh, wrote uh, books about dogs, survivors, and the bees about a lion, a baboon, and an elephant called Bravelands. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with this because even though they're talking about people, they are the characters in the book, so that counts, right? I'm going to say that counts. Three, do you have a book based off another fictional story? Yes, yes I do. Um, I mean, there's I have two different Monster High series, plus a Monster High Air Raptor High crossover, which technically isn't. But there's an Air Raptor High book, Descendants, Once Upon a Time, but I don't think any of those count because, like, it's not a different fictional story. It's like, right? Like, that's what I mean? I don't know. I'm going to go with these. The Twisted Tale series. They're all uh, twisted fairy tale retellings. And this is the only one I've read of them so far. I finally bought the others. Well, not all of them, but the ones I want, the simple one that I have to buy because I didn't watch the movie until after I bought all these books. Which is the Hercules one. I need to buy that now because I watched the movie and I kind of like this. So, yeah, but I'm going to go with this. Well, I think I actually would like to technically go with that. So, yay. Okay. I also have, you know, Story Makers, which is kind of about like fairy tales and then I have Bewitch and Oz, which is based in Oz, so like like I think those work out too. Um four, do you have a book with the with the title that's ten layers long? <gasps> this one's gonna be difficult. Uh yeah, I have no idea. Um That's 11 letters long. I was close. Um, I have to have one, right? You would think. Eight letters. Eight again. Nine. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just in decay. Awesome. Yes. So, this is the second book in the Rob Ruin series. So, yay. Next is. Five, do you have a book title that starts and ends with the same letter? I don't know. Do I? I have to, right? You think you would think so. Would this count? I mean, a lot of people don't count B as like the actual. Whenever a book title, movie title starts with B, they usually don't really count it as the first letter of a the title. So would that count? Because it says. The Sandman and the War of Dreams. So if B doesn't count, then it's S and S, right? I don't know if that counts. So I'm going to use that as a backup if I can't find one. Uh, let's see.
This is a lot harder than it should be. <laughs> Sandman, Sandman and the War of Dreams, S and S. So I'm going with this because this is the third part. I can't really wait to read this book. I love Sandman. <laughs> it's from the movie Rise of the Guardians, if you did not know. Um, see. Six is Do You Have a Mask Market paperback book. Not entirely sure what those really are, but I know when I bought all those charm books, I know that. Most of them said it was Mars ma ma bleh, mass market paperback. Not entirely sure what that is, but I'm going to grab one. So, yeah. I guess this is mass market paperback. I don't entirely know what that is, but I'm going with it. Okay. Seven, do you have a book with an author using a pen name? Yes. Warriors by Aaron Hunter. Aaron Hunter is a pen name. Um, so yeah. Number eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? I have a few, actually, surprisingly enough. I have the obvious one, Harry Potter. As you can tell, I have all the Harry Potter books, plus t Tales of Beetle and Bar, plus the spin-off series of Their Secrets of Immortal and the Smell, which also has a character's name in the title, which I just adjusted because I didn't, no, I forgot that when I pointed it out. <laughs> But I also have these, uh, tri or it's not a trilogy, but there's only three books out so far, there's going to be more. But the series I'm currently reading, The Shadowbound Chronicles, each book has the name and the title. Maeve, which I already read, which is the first one. Matthew, which I'm currently reading. The third one is Justin. And then I have no idea which character's name is going to be in the next title, but I guess I'll find out. Um, so take your pick. I actually have a lot of those. I've been pressed that I was able, even able to remember all of them. At once. Oh, and then there's Percy Jackson, and then there's the Rise of the Guardian book, because each one is about a different guardian, they all have the guardian name and title, and then Julian the Phantoms, and is that it? There's the Rise of Kyoshi as well, and there's Red Temple Tale, Gina Rising. Oh my gosh, I actually have several of these. I'm very, I'm very impressed with myself. I have several of these. Oh, I also, even a couple of my charm books have Piper in the title. I don't know, and there's one with Phoebe in the title too. There's one called Phoebe Who, and there's like the Pied Piper, and then there's like the Tale of Two Pipers. Those are the only ones I can think of off the top of my head that has a character in the title. But yeah, I'm very happy with myself. I have several of them. So I guess I'm just going to grab one. Here's the Rise of Kyoshi. I can't wait to read this because... I love Avatar. I want to buy the second book before I do read this though, The Shadow of Kyoshi. So yeah, can't wait. Then there's, here's, I'll go ahead and show you Maeve as well. First book in The Shadow Realm Chronicles. I'm on the second and I'll be reading, and I'm almost done with this so I'm just going to be, I'm hoping to finish it today, which I should be able to. And let's, I'm hoping to finish the second one by at least tomorrow. Let's see, I got I just read all this time. I'm very impressed with that. I can't believe I actually have several of those, several books with a name in the title. Is that all of them? Did I name all of them? I think that's all of them that I have. Yeah, because none of these have a name in the title. 
Yeah, I think I have. I think I named all of them. Oh, actually, no. I think some of the Warrior books has a name and title. The oh, okay. I do have more because the two mangas I have of Seekers, one's about Khalid, one's about Tokolon. They have their names and the title. Then there's. I think there's some wa uh, Warrior novelists. That, actually, I don't think the Warrior novelists have the two names of them. Yeah, they don't. Okay, never mind about that one. But yeah, so I had a couple more that I, I almost forgot about. But see, I actually have several of those. I'm, I'm very happy with myself right now. Okay, let's see. Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Now, I think Seekers has two maps. I'm gonna grab the first book because I think that's that's one I'm thinking of that I think has two maps in it, but I think there might be others, but the first one I'm pretty sure of. I might be wrong. Nope. Okay, here's one map. And I think isn't there one at the end? If there's not, I'm gonna cry. Okay, this is like the beginning of the second book. Here's the end of the book. Crap, I I could have sworn there was a second map. Oh, there is two maps. They're just both at the beginning. Okay. So, see, there's this map. I don't know how well you can see that. Probably not very well. But map number one, and then map number two. Two different maps, both at the beginning. But see, I know my seekers. I know my seekers. Okay. I knew there were two maps in that book. Let's see. Number 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Do I? Yes, I do. Duh. Okay, my mind. I don't know if it's ever after how comes I think the TV show came before. The Shadow of the Bone was turned into a TV show. I haven't read Shadow of the Bone yet, but I'm going to be doing that after I'm done with Shadow of the Chronicles because after I'm done with this book, a friend of mine. Um, at Lady Loves That Reads, um, we are going to buddy read Six of Crows. So, yay! Um, so, okay. I got that. Yay! And Warriors is supposed to be turned into a. No, it's not supposed to turn into a TV show. It's supposed to turn into a movie, isn't it? I don't know. They've been saying that for years. I don't know if they'll ever have, end up doing that. Number 11 is Do you have a book that was written by someone who was originally famous for something else? I know there is a book on my TBR that was written by the uh, Land of Stories, written by Chris Colbert, who it was originally an actor, famous for his role as Kurt on Glee. But I don't own those books yet. And I don't think any of the... I don't think any of the... I'm not... Am I, <laughs> am I allowed to give my book? I mean, I'm not really that famous, but I was a YouTuber before I uh, wrote those. <laughs> and... <laughs> So does that count? I mean, I'm not famous or anything, but I was a YouTuber before I published. Not necessarily before I wrote the first one, but I did be become a YouTuber before I published it. So, does that count? I'm probably cheating a little bit with this answer. This is the old cover, by the way, too. Um, I just changed the cover, so when you go look up it, look up the cover, you won't find this one. Or, I changed the cover for the first and second one. So, yeah. But, I'm probably cheating with that answer, but I don't have another answer. <laughs> None of these authors, I mean, I don't really know. I don't really pay attention to authors that much, to be honest. Except for Aaron Hunter, I buy like every book Aaron Hunter has ever written because I'm upset. upset. But, <clears throat> I don't think any of these authors were famous for anything besides, you know, writing a book. So yeah, I'm gonna go with me. Yay. <laughs> Let's see. Twelve. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? <laughs> I don't think so. Um I don't know, maybe. I know someone someone I was watching doing the challenge said in Amber in the Ashes, but they have one of the newer covers and I don't. I have an old cover, so no. 
that one is a noun. I don't think so, people. I don't hear. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. Of course I do. I have this. Uh, it's the second book of the Bewitched Nas trilogy, Magic Below. And she turned into a mermaid for a portion of this book, and um, she is wearing this clock. If you can see it. So, yay! I do have one. Let's see. Do, uh, number 13, do you have a poetry book? No, I don't read poetry, don't care for poetry. I mean, I, I won't bash it because there are people that write poetry, there are people that like poetry, and that's good for you. It's just not really my style. Um, I'm more into novels, actual novels. I don't read comics or mangas. I did buy the two mangas for secrets, but that's only because they're secrets since I'm obsessed. And then comics, I do want to read the Avatar, the Last Airbender ones, and the Legend of Korra ones, just because I'm obsessed with the TV shows, and I want to find out what happened after the TV shows ended. But other than that, I don't really read those. I don't read poetry. Uh, if there's a poetry for a book or TV show or movie that I'm obsessed with, I might give it a try, but necessarily whether I like it is another story. Let's see. Number 14, do you have a book that has an award stamp on it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, do have any of these books ever gotten an award before? I don't know. I bought the box that I but so let me pull one out to see. As the stickers is coming to Netflix, I don't see an award stamp. Stupid. When I was looking for a war stamp, I found another book with three characters on the cover, so I didn't have to read one. Uh, torch, uh, torch in the night, yeah, uh, torch against the night. So yeah, I did have another one. And I think three for the games and some stuff. Uh, sometimes don't have them too. Subscribe and don't really like people. And in it burn the ashes. I don't have the one with all the people on the cover, so. But I don't think any of these have an award stamp on them, so I'm going to have to sing up for that one. Fifteen, do you have a book with an author who has the same initials as you? Ha ha ha, good luck with that. Um, I mean, my legal, my legal la last name is Malden. Um, but... If you know, my book has Harper as my last name because that's my mom's main name and that's why I want to change my last name too once I have the money for it because uh, my last name is my biological father's last name and he was never part of my life and I really don't want his last name anymore. Um, so yeah, uh, so JM, I mean there's JKR, so I have someone with the first initial J, so at first I didn't, I, Earlier when I was thinking about this, I was like, I don't know if anyone wants to put a J and I was like, I'm so stupid. Of course I do. <laughs> um, I don't know any of my authors, though. I know Aaron Hunter and JKR, obviously, but that's it. Who's, no, because this is Melissa de la Cruz, or Melinda de la Cruz, one or the other. Um, that's WT. That's why uh, I don't know any authors, and apparently none of the other names are shown. Okay, going. My book, J.H. 
I mean, I'm going to be changing it to A, so does that count? It's my book, so it probably doesn't count. But they do have the same initials as me. That's cheating. <laughs> but I'm tempted to if I can't find one. <laughs> um, wait, my berry, that's N. This is how. Crap! Oh, wait, I found one! Yes! Okay, J is Jonathan. My berry. I can't believe I actually found one. J.M. Oh my gosh. I am actually really shocked here. I did not realize. I, I did not think I had a, a book with the same initials as me. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. <laughs> I probably should be this happy about it, but oh well. Um, number 16. Do you have a book of short stories? I don't read short stories. Like I said, I prefer folding novel novels. But I'm going to say that these count. Um, Aaron Hunter has written several novelas for um, Warriors and one so far for Survivors. And in the novelas, novels are really short, but the, and these may look like kind of full-length novels, but that's only because they put three novelas in the story. Each novela has three different stories. So, and they all are only like ten chapters, I think. So I'm going to say that counts. Because it kind of does. Number 17. Do you have a book that's between 500 pages to 510 pages? That's going to be hard. Or maybe not. I'm going to go to the easy one and do Harry Potter. Wait. What am I, why did I grab the last one? The last one has like over 700 pages. Uh, maybe it's the fourth one? <laughs> Okay. I'm all good over here. Well, I have two of secrets. I don't gonna. I I think I don't think it has that much. No, only three hundred. So. Yeah, they don't get bigger. Yeah. And that one doesn't have one. Of course, definitely does. This is Tales of Beetle and Bard. And look, a pride bookmark. It says Book Nerd with the pride colors. I didn't have a shirt around that says that. So I guess I do kind of have a book with the pride colors already. Okay, let me try this again. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try the fourth book and see if that attaches it. Well, this one has 700. Did none of them have like 500? I don't think so, actually. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to do that one. I'll try to put Oh, here's another one where the cut. I guess I have more of those than I thought where the cover doesn't go all the way to the page. Is it scrolls like that too? Yes, it is. Rule of Wolves is not because it's a hard cover. Um, no, it goes over 500. And more than five ten. Okay, uh, I'm gonna try uh, the rise of Kyoji. That goes to four forty two. So no, I'm gonna try uh, this one. A uh, hoax book is now new sequel. Goes over by 10, barely this time, so I'm getting there. Uh, this should be a little easier, don't you think? Um, I'm gonna try the last book of Heroes of Olympus. Because why not? 502, 502. Crap, it like goes just over it. I'm gonna try the book next to it, which is also part of Heroes of Olympus. That goes way over 500. I'll try this one. I'll see page numbers. Okay, here they are. And it goes over 510. It goes to like 
20. Goes way over 500. That's just great. I'm going to try one of these. The, one of these twisted tails. Because why not? This is on birthday. The Alice in Wonderland one. Yes. 504. It's in between 500 and 510. took too long. <laughs> um, number 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? I mean, I could go with Harry Potter, which is obvious. Is there another one I can go with? Because I'm pretty sure I already used Harry Potter. I mean, that's a movie, but I think the movie came first. Same with the uh, Moth Child, right? The Guardian, uh, uh, Descendants. I think all of those, the movie came first, right? So uh, they don't count, right? Because like the movie came before. Hmm. I'm going to go with Harry Potter then because it's like the only one I have, I think. I mean, Shadow Bone was turned into a series. Focus Focus, I'm pretty sure the movie came first. And that one's mostly the sequel, anyways. I mean, the Hocus Pocus sequel is getting a movie, whether or not they're going to follow the book. I'm terrified to watch the movie because I love the sequels so much, and if they. Don't, if they just do their own idea and don't follow the book, I'm going to be heartbroken because I love that book. And I would love to see it, especially since it's like June and Pride and all, and the main characters are lesbian. Um, I'm going to have two questions for the same time. Yeah. Uh, number 19, do you have a graphic novel? Which I mentioned, yes, but only because it has to do with my favorite series. That's the only reason why I even bought it. I grabbed this one. I have this two that goes with stickers. Coco and Chloe. Because I grabbed Chloe because you should know by now that she's my favorite character. I love her. And yeah, so I grabbed Chloe's Adventure. Number twenty. Do you have a book written by two or more authors? I mean, I'm gonna apparently I'm gonna talk about every book that Aaron Hunter wrote, every series that Aaron Hunter wrote. Like seriously. Well, I mean, Air Hunter is my favorite author, and I do, and I am obsessed with, yeah, so Survivors, I also haven't read it yet. I, I'm going to reread Secrets, and then I'm going to reread what I've already read of Warriors, which I've read 13 books of Warriors, and then I'm going to read what I haven't read, then I'm going to read Survivors, then Bravelands. But here's Survivors. What was the question again? I'm not just going blank. Two or more authors. Right? Oh wait, I don't have to go with this one. Right, up until okay, up until two-ish months ago, uh, the only book I had that was written by two or more authors was Aaron Hunter, which is written by three authors, and it's also a pen name. And yeah, but now I no longer have just Aaron Hunter books. I also have one other book that was written by two authors, which I've mentioned a lot lately. Which is because I read it recently and I was obsessed. Uh, the Ex Exile of Shade and Shadow. I know um, the authors from Twitter. We talk sometimes, and they signed the co this copy of the book, my first co signed copy of a book. And Nimush Schmidt and Rebecca Schmidt. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your names wrong again because I'm not sure how to pronounce them. Or Rebecca CZ, but still. Um, but yeah, so. They're sister-in-laws, and they're this writing duo. This is the first book. The second book is coming out in July. Can't wait for that. So, I thought about doing anticipated releases, but I don't really have that many anticipated releases. Like, a video for it. So, I don't know why I can't really do that. I mean, I guess I have a few, so it'll be like a short book. But, yeah. So, yay. So, yay. Um, awesome. So that's all. Please like and subscribe and comment um, if you have done this, if you want to do it. I tag you all. It's more of a challenge than tag, but I think people have tagged people to do this challenge. So if you want to do it, I tag you. Um, so yeah, I'm also going to do the other book challenge. 
I'm getting a bit hot, so I'm taking out my rest for a little bit and then do it. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I will talk to you guys later.